today after she was caught on tape referring, referring to a female Thai constituent as a ting tong from somewhere. So that was good. We got Far, who's, I don't know, she's a ting tong from somewhere. Janice Atkinson, who represents the South East in the European Parliament, has told us she deeply regrets the words that she used and is devastated that she caused hurt. The constituent and her husband, Far and Vincent Monday, run a mobile food van. They say they've been offended by her language, which Mr Monday described as outrageous. Vincent Far described themselves as UKIP supporters. This was their reaction after we played them the clip. Basically, she's being quite impolite in your... Basically, what she's saying is because you're not white British, I guess. She's being quite rude and saying that you're ting tong, you're like you're ting tong. I'm which not, is I'm uh, normal actually. <laughs> I'm from Thailand. Yeah. And married with Englishman. Mm. I speak with Carol Stewart. Carol's a well-known anti-racism campaigner in Kent. Is the chair of the African Caribbean Association in the county as well. Morning, Carol. Good morning. Uh, how offensive are these remarks? I, I think they're very offensive, and, and, and I think you know, I think it's time that people kind of basically sort of woke up and, and smelt the coffee, really, because I think you know, to, for her to say that it was it was an innocent remark and she didn't mean it. Um, you know, she she was she was fully aware that she was on camera, be, be, being recorded, and um, I, I I think you know she really needs to be a bit more thoughtful before before she she opens her mouth. You know, these are people that have that have supported um, their, their party for for a long time, and they're a party that. <clears throat> that uh, profess to be, you know, embracing and engaging of, of all communities. But clearly, you know, she, she was representing, whether it was a personal view or the party view, I'm not sure, but she said it. And, um, and I think, you know, she was um, representing a view that, that, she, that she holds personally. So I think, you know, um, I think the party does need to take some action. And this isn't the first time that views like this have come out from UKIP members. She said sorry. And? She said sorry. Do you but think that was genuine? Do you think that was enough? I don't think it was enough at all because, yeah, yeah, she said she was sorry. Maybe she was sorry she got caught. You know, did she mean it? I don't know. I think she was probably sorry the fact that, that she got caught out on camera. But we don't know the view that, that she held off camera. You know, I, I think... You is, know, there, I, is there a difference, Carol, between being... Uh, you've probably come across this question before, between somebody who is a racist and somebody who is sloppy with their tongue and uses racist terms? I'm not saying that, that she's racist because I don't know the individual. I, th I think there is a difference between, you know, people who are racist and people who are using racist language. Um, you know, people who use racist language may 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 use it out of, out of ignorance. And I think I, I said this in a conversation earlier. I think that people use certain... Um, worldwide incidents or local mm. incidents to stir up a lot of racial hatred sure. you know and i think you know for example you take the the outrage um you know for want of a better word over the the, the halal meat that was being sold you know that has been around for for for, for, for a long time that that was used to, to stir up all kinds of you know nonsense and, and racial tension be, between communities I mean, how ridiculous was that? You know, and also, you know, that the horrific murder of, of, the, of the killing of the soldier Lee Rigby, again, that was used to stir up a lot of racial hatred um, amongst communities and targeted particularly at, at Muslims. So you, th you think sometimes people often jump on a certain bandwagon I, in, order to, in order to compound existing beliefs? Most definitely. Okay. You know, and I, and I think, you know, it, it brings up, um, it does bring up all kinds of, um, of hatred to the surface and, and, and ignorance. And, and attitudes that people have probably kept bubbling underneath. You know, and I, I look on, on Facebook, for example, at some of the comments... Um, Don't ever look on Facebook, Carol. I, I, I try not... You know you're on a hiding to nothing when you look I, on Facebook. I, I know, you know. <laughs> and, but, but, you know, but some of the comments of, of people who, who are sort of in my circle of friends, and I, and I look at some of the things that they post, and I think, my God, did you really think like that? Yeah, I know. You know, and you, and you consider yourself being my friend, you know. I, 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 am, I am forever staggered about the kind of thing 
things people put in the uh, public domain in that respect. What about back to dear Janice and her her uh, her comments then? So should she resign over something like this? Is, is it is it that it, given the context which you've just described, the unacceptability of racism and how certain people's prejudice manifests through other stories, which are then used to bolster up their beliefs? Uh, it, it it's that serious. So therefore, a comment like this equates to that level of seriousness, I mean, should, I, should I, she resign? I don't know her well enough to say whether she should resign. I, I think people need to think carefully about the parties in which they're supporting. I'm not going to sort of sort of sit here and advocate for any one political party because, we're, you know, obviously as an organisation we have to be sort of independent. Mm -hmm. But I think people need to think very carefully about where they put their, put their cross on that bit of paper when okay. it comes to election time. And, you know, it's, I think it's unfortunate that that she that she made those comments um as i say i don't know her well enough to say whether she was racist i think that you know but i think she was probably more sorry that she got caught because she you know she i think it's i think it's ignorance um basically and i think i think the party need to think more carefully about you know who they put in the public arena to to speak on their behalf um and i think that her, her supporters um, of, of, of um, sort of minority backgrounds need to think more carefully about whether they continue to support her and, and the party in the future. OK. Carol, thank you. Carol is uh, chair of the African Caribbean Association here in Kent. Let's speak to Will Scobie. Will is standing in the Labour uh, for Labour in the Thanet South seat at next year's general election. He's also a Kent County councillor. Morning, Will. Good morning. Um, you've heard the comments. What are your thoughts? Well, I mean, the kind of language is absolutely appalling. The thing that worries me the most is the ease with which the comments are made. And what jumps to my mind is if this happened um, in the Labour Party, there would be a full investigation, there would be lots of debate about it, people talking about it. Um, but there seems to be no response properly from UKIP. They put a statement out, but is there going to be an investigation? Is she going to be looked into for these comments? It doesn't look like she will be. Do you think the comments play into your hands in some respects at the next election? Is, is there part of you that thinks, you know, hey, there's a, there's another, my, my step to Parliament is closer now? No, I, I just think any um, MEP or public figure making comments like that is absolutely disgusting and, she, you know, she has apologised, um, but I don't think that that's enough. I really think that she needs to be considering her position at the moment and UKIP need to be showing that they um, are going to take a strong line on this. They but there is accused, a... Yeah, they've sure. been accused of racism in the past. Of course. And this is an opportunity to, for them to show that they are not a racist party and that racism is not welcome under their banner. You'll, you'll be familiar with this argument, Will. There is a sense and that, that there will be some people out there and perhaps they're existing UKIP voters who will simply say, I, I'm listening to Will, you know, I'm listening to this lefty on the radio and all she's done is just said something and it doesn't matter, it's freedom of speech and it's you know, we, we are being told in this new Orwellian world we live in that you can't say anything and she was just uttering a word, didn't mean anything by it, doesn't really matter, jog on, move on, take it on the chin and get over it. Well, the comments that she made were to two UKIP members who have said they're going to resign from the party, so that sort of shows you how this is going down with her supporters. I've had people talking to me this morning, I've had messages on social media, phone calls in the office saying that they're absolutely appalled, people that voted UKIP this year and last year, who said that they, if they'd known what sort of person she was, they wouldn't have voted for her in May. And this isn't the first, um, op the first time that she's been in trouble. You know, just before the European election, she went into Cliftonville um, and called it a no-go area, which was very insulting to people that lived there, and said that she was scared to even stand on, on a street. Absolutely ridiculous. And when we're trying to do all sorts to invest and improve Cliftonville, for her to come down and make those sorts of comments is appalling. And then now this, coming into Ramsgate and making comments about local people. Should she resign? I think she needs to be considering her position. But this is a matter for UKIP. They should be investigating this, absolutely. It, it just, I'm often intrigued when politicians say considering their position. Is that the same as saying she should resign? Well, I think that, as I Or said, do you mean something different? No, I mean there should be an investigation. Into this. Okay. If this happened in the Labour Party, there would be an investigation. We would look into this. And that's what you can So you'd be happy do. as long as they have a resignation that she, as long as they have a, an investigation, you don't mind her staying in her job. Well, it's, it's what political parties should be doing. If, if, if what some of their politicians and public figures make outrageous comments like that, there should not, there should be an investigation. It should not be swept under the carpet. There's a kind of a, a sort of Teflonness, isn't there, about UKIP? Um, they've got you know a, a bit of a, a CV 
in 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 kind of in, in the loose talk department from Mr. Bloom uh, through to all manner of things that people have said. Why do you suppose uh, it doesn't seem to affect their position in the polls? Do you think perhaps people feel in an odd kind of slightly perverse way refreshed to hear people just speak in their mind and if they make a mistake once in a while, well, let's forgive them and move on as long as they say sorry? Well, I, I, watched, your, um, I watched the BBC South East programme last night and everyone that they interviewed in Ramsgate, um, the experts they interviewed were all unanimous that this was despicable. It's not welcome in Thanet. I mean, we... In, in Kent, we have always been an, an area that welcomes people, um, that is proud of its history. Um, and now we've got somebody trying to seed um, arguments and anger between communities and making comments like that. I mean, that is not welcome in Kent, um, and that's not who we are. Uh, well, Scobie, thank you, sir. I'm sure we will speak again soon before the 2015 election. Uh, will is standing for the Labour Party in Than itself at next year's 2015 election. He's also a Kent County councillor as well. Uh, your response and thoughts on this, you can text 81333. Start your message.